Ham, progenitor of the dark races, read on. Not the Negro. Ham's not the progenitor of the who? The Negro. Aren't the Trinidadians called the Negroes? Aren't the American blacks called the Negroes? Here it is, right here, we're reading to you. Archaeologists, historiograph uh, historians say that Ham is the progenitor of the dark races, not you, <laughs> Trinidadians. Not you, Negroes. Not you, West Indians. But who? Who are the sons of Ham? Who are the real sons of Ham? Read on. But the Egyptian. But the who? The Egyptian. West Indian, you're not Egyptian. You can't show me one goddamn, show me one cousin in Egypt. Show me one cousin over there in Africa. I can say, yeah, my name is Mobutu. I got cousins over there in the Mud Hut village. I got a cousin over here in Nairobi, Kenya. Where are your African cousins out of your African? You're not African. You have no fan, no ties to African. You African like I'm Chinese. Right. Ching Chong. <laughs> read on. Ethiopian. Ethiopians. Read on. Libyan. Libyans, not Libyans. I'm waiting. Read on. And Canaanites. And who? And Canaanites. And Canaanites. That's who the sons of Ham are. Not you, Trinidadian. Not you, West Indian. If you want to prove this is King James right here. King James is a black man. This is the Negro rulers of Scotland and the British Isles. King James was black. The Bible is not a, a Caucasian man's book. The white man didn't write the Bible. It prophesies the destruction of the so-called whites. It's in the damn Bible. Take me back to Exodus 11 and 7. This is where God put a difference between the Trinidadians and the Africans. And we're better than the Africans too. Let me, let me let me educate you even further. We're not saying you're not African to hurt you. We're not saying we're Af you're not African to upset you. We're saying you're not African to tell you that you are royalty. You should rule the Africans, Trinidadians. You should rule the Africans, West Indians. And you're going to rule it, rule them if you keep the laws of God. Read on. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. Go ahead. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Not a dog move his tongue against the children of Israel. Read on. Against man or beast. Against man or beast. Go ahead. That ye may know how the Lord doth put a difference. God puts a difference. Between the Egyptians. Between the Egyptians. And Israel. And Israel. Thank God I'm not African. Thank God that we are separate from Africans, man. The West Indian, the so-called Negro from America, so-called blacks in South America, there is a difference between us and the African. God set that difference. God set that difference, and guess what, black man, West Indian, God set you to be on top. God set you to rule the planet Earth. God set you to rule the Africans. God set you to rule the so-called Caucasians. God set you to rule the East Indians that oppress our brothers in Trinidad. God set you to rule over them, man. And the black Latino First Nation is gonna rule over them. That's what we say in here in the Bible. That's what we have to teach. That's what we have to show you, black man, West Indian, so-called First Nation, that you are the chosen people of God, and that you are set to rule the planet Earth, and you are not an African. That's the answer to your question. You are an Israelite. You are the real Jews, according to the Bible. You are the chosen people of God.